All right, guys, this video is going to be a little bit faster <laughs> and noisier because it's hot. So I've got the air blowing. Okay, let me start with this one. This box measures, um, oh my gosh, how, oh, there it is. Okay, I was going to say, how in the world do I lose my ruler? Hang on. Okay, sorry. Um, it's almost six inches. It's about six inches by four and a quarter and one and a half. Okay, and these next ones, these are the first ones I did, and so they're gonna be, mm, they're not that much different, but they have a little bit more, more of vintage in them. Um, so here's the tan on this one. It's got this pretty snowy scene, um, and there's a woman saying goodbye, I guess, to her soldier man, and look at all the dogs, the hounds. This is a coach office here. Oops. And then there's an image of a woman up here, and I'm not sure what that's about, but she's really uh, featured there and, and pretty. And then it's got all the little, you know, little snowy scene. There's the side of it, and then there's the back of it. Okay. So there's that one. Let's just jump right in. Um, this one <clears throat> also has uh, one of the sewing. Now this tin top doesn't come off like the other ones. It it's hinged on there. Okay. Um, and then here is one of my um, sewing ladies. And I guess that wasn't the other lady's name because it has the same name right there. I don't think it was. Maybe it is her. Who knows? And look at her old sewing machine. I've got an old Singer sewing machine um, that I'm going to um, post probably on Etsy if I can get some good pictures of it um, as a sort of a decorative piece. Um, it would probably take, I don't know, the world to refurbish it. But I think it's really beautiful to put in a room. So that's a lovely card for this one. So there's the lady. This one also has um, lots and lots of vintage laces. And this is from my lace collection. So these are really pretty cotton pieces, hand crocheted little doilies. Um, here you've got some pearl buttons, and that's on a whole um, button card. They're all there, and they're so pretty. These are in really good condition. I like those a lot. And then here you've got a little vintage piece of remnant, lace remnant that's vintage. And then this. Oh my god, I love this so much. It's so pretty. It's so light and beautiful. I love this piece. Just so pretty. And then you've got, um, uh, I guess this would be like a little table doily. And it's really pretty here in the corners. It's kind of creamy yellow, vintage. It's got beautiful decorative um, handwork all stitched around. That would be really pretty folded in a um, sewing book. And then you've got this roses. And this, this was the piece I told you guys reminded me of my great grandma. This piece is so beautiful. It looks like that um, the um, mm, cheesecloth with the flowers and florals but this was a hanky and it's just a pretty little remnant it's just so pretty I just love that so much that'd be a beautiful pocket and then there is another one of the Battenberg or Ick crew whatever it is it's, it's called really pretty
And then you've got some needles here in their original packaging. Uh, it says crochet hooks, um, finest sewing for all. Let's open it up. There it is. Cute little sewing book. I know that there are ladies who actually make these little tiny faux um, sewing needle books like that. And then you've got um, sort of inspiration pieces here. The drawstring, the belt. And you've got a card that's missing four uh, snaps out of it. Um, but I love this. I love the green and the black. I just think it's so pretty and it's showing you how to sew them in. And there's the back of it there. And then we get into more antique laces um, from my collection. More antique laces. That's from a doily or a collar or something. And then this lovely antique piece here. And I've shared that in Happy Mail. I just love that. It's so beautiful. It's really old. And then this lovely remnant here that you saw earlier. And then more antique laces, lace remnants. Um, this probably came from a collar or chest piece of sorts, but look at the webbing on that, how beautiful that is. Very, very detailed, very intricate. And then here's the center of it. Where it was sewn together. Here's another vintage um, lace piece that's so pretty. Oh my god, I love it so much. It's so beautiful. Oh my goodness. I just love this kind of lace. It's so pretty. It's so hard to find this now, and it's so expensive. But it's time to part it out and let it go. Isn't it beautiful? There's the flower there. Just gorgeous. Love, 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 love that. And then it has a cap. <laughs> oh my goodness. There it is. It has a cap, guys. And then a piece of that mid-century mid, uh, lace, tablecloth. And there's some of that lacing there. And here are some needles that were in a sewing box just like that. So it's very fragile, this paper. This is really antique stuff. I got this out of an antique box, uh, a bag, I should say. And it just, it's just been used and loved. Beautiful piece. I love that. And then here's another piece of antique lace. Gorgeous um, edgings. It's kind of dark here. It's been sitting in, um, up for a while. Perhaps in a box for a while. In this box for a while. And then here's another piece of antique lace that's gorgeous. And these little pieces, I didn't have very much of them. So um, they just, you know, I just spread them out as, as I could. And they're just gorgeous. So there's that. And then here is another little needle book, a boy needle book. And those are in perfect uh, condition. I mean, they haven't doesn't even look like they were ever used. And here is um, a little piece of the soldiers. And it's sort of fitting. Right? Looks like he's going off to war somewhere. And we've got some doodahs. And a bra, uh, well, not a bra, what do you call that? A garter thingy. 
Oh, Lord have mercy. I remember my great-grandmother, great-grandmother wearing these. That was in a sewing box, guys. And I just love it. It's a snap. Just love that so much. To keep up the hosiery. And a pin and a button. And these buttons are tied together. And again, I'm just sort of copying the lady who tied those glass buttons together. There's a bead with a blue and pink piece on it. Here is some of the lace that you've seen in the other uh, story uh, storybook boxes, sewing boxes. Um, but in this one, there's more on here. And I've enclosed it with a pen and just kind of ripped off um, an old cardboard piece, sort of trying to do what like what the ladies do, did and still do. Here is a piece of that um, oval circle shaped fabric that's going to be, had the potential to be a yo-yo. And because this does sort of have a guy little thing to it, um, I went ahead and put in these blue buttons. Um, maybe this seamstress um, has to sew for soldiers, I don't know, or people in general um, during the time that's shown on that tin box. And this is a complete original buttons on a complete um, card. And then we have a piece of pattern paper. And a piece of cotton, just in general. Oops, there we go. It's just a piece of cotton fabric. And a piece of, of the fillet lace with roses. Lots of vintage laces in this, in this antique laces actually, excuse me. Um, there's an ode to Mrs. McDaniels. I think there's going to be more um, pieces in there than that. More pieces in there of, the, of this, I think. Bishop has been bothering us to play with his ball all day long, but I've been busy and my husband's busy making hand making um, finishing up the, that patio furniture this is very delicate and so very old um, it's antique I would argue this is probably from I don't know um, the early 1900s could be before and I've shown an old collar on my videos before where this particular um, this information came information you see I'm distracted these lace pieces oh my god <laughs> why did that say information that wasn't even a Freudian slip right anyway that's really antique and old I love 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 that so beautiful and then here's another old antique lace that is very delicate my husband's taking a break from working so which is awesome because the dogs have attention now and there's another pattern piece that's really pretty and useful. Smokey doesn't like it when they play ball because he can't run <laughs> and play ball. So he gets really pissed off. Um, okay, here's another lace piece and it's antique. These are all antique laces, not modern at all and not even from the 80s and 90s. This is from the 1900s early 1900s so that's really beautiful and then you have the pack of buttons and this beautiful um, spool here I love this red and then I love this side of it as well just really pretty just gorgeous love that beautiful beautiful pieces for inspiration or to build a story around and there's that um, I this reminds me just of a little girl playing around um, in the yard way back when love this cottony feel 
pretty islet. And then we've got um, more of that original, and I haven't touched it, obviously. Look at the threads just hanging from it. Um, this is beautiful, and this is the way I found it. That's the way it's going into your box, just like that. And I just wonder what the life of the lady who wrapped these, what her sewing life was like. And then here is um, a piece of that... Um, other lacy doily stuff it's got a little stain on it appropriately so and here is a small piece of hand crochet and here is an applique flower because we do have the lady um, here that we want to appeal to. Perhaps there's a story behind her. Why is she the face of that particular board? There's some hearts. And these are some longer uh, boy needles. Um, there's five in there, so the seamstress used only two of them. There's five in there. And this came out of, I love these needles. These are, what kind of needles are these? They're really big. Made in England. Um, they're just really nice. And they're, these are pretty long. I think those will be good for sewing in signatures. I think that's the size that you guys use. Or, I don't know, when you're sewing something that's more um, difficult to sew, I guess. Heavy duty? I don't know. <laughs> um, I put this button card in here because this is how it came in um, a sewing box. And I put it in there also to sort of go with the theme of the tin, if you can see that. I've got to uh, ask Sheila what kind of these brass buttons again that she likes. I think she said leaves and something else. Um, so that I could get her little happy mail off with that blue fabric that she and Valerie at Pumpkin Patch um, that they really liked. There's one stamp in here. We're going to hear Smokey scratching his chin. There's a thimble. And then he's going to bark after that because I guess that's, that's just what he does. So I'm sorry in advance. <laughs> Here is the sewing machine foot. Is that what that is? That I might kind of get right from my great auntie, kind of, sort of. But really, honestly, I didn't hang out with my grands and greats in the kitchen and around the sewing machine. I was very busy uh, hitting the books. But I can still cook. I learned enough. <laughs> and I ate so good as a kid. Oh my God, I miss their food so much. Anyway, I'm not going there. Um, this is one of the doll pins with the pink lace and the brown. There's quite a bit of that on there. And here is a used, oh good guys, he didn't bark, he went outside. <laughs> there is a used piece of um, floss there in red, and I thought the red was suitable to complement this the boy needles and this red soldier um, scene here this one has an entire blue made in England um, uh, measurement uh, and it does say made in England on on there inside of there um, and I'm not going to open that up and show you but it does and then this has prayer on it and it's an embroidery uh, panel. This has crown, a crown, is a crown button that I thought would be appropriate again for the scene um, and where the box was made and some of these needles made in England. This one has a soldier. Perhaps it's um, a person that the father of the soldier in on the horse fought. Who knows? or his great-great-grandfather. 
and that has a little hole here and here so that you can put that on to a charm or something it's really light this is so precious um, this is some old lace that I'll show you when I get to one of the boxes there's a roll of thread that I found in a sewing box an old vintage sewing box um, and it was wrapped like this without a pin and it just it was so inspiring so I just wrapped some old lace um, I don't think I repeated this lace if I did um, yeah I, I did and I tried not to I think there was just that one um, garter piece that I repeated a little bit in one in one uh, box and there's a um, knitting crochet needle or that's not a crochet needle what do you call that well when you crochet and you put um, you want to sew things um, you want to sew things uh, yarn between the stitches that would be a lot of fun to use and here is a piece uh, this is how my great grandmother used to wrap her little pieces and bits up like that that inspired me and that's feed sack again complementing that red white and blue this is just a random piece of a 1800 music book um, that was so fragile um, and beautiful pages inside but the book itself had it was so old it just crumbled apart and I actually sent the covers of this to a lady in Oregon who does a lot of collaging and she likes grungy. I sent her all my coffee dyed mess ups or the coffee dyed paper um, that's really, really crunchy and crispy um, when it's out too long in the sun. She likes that kind of stuff. <laughs> um, I put a hundred little dolls in here, advertisement. Um, make extra money there's some hosiery so you could use either of those sides to finish to finish a project here's some more of Mrs. McDaniel's little cluster pieces and a random piece of green fabric not sure why this color is scheming like that but it's in there. What was the seamstress going to do with that? What did she plan? Where did it come from? There's another E applique. I have more of these in other letters somewhere, guys. These are embroidered, and I just can't find them. I don't know where they are. They're here somewhere, but yeah. Tried to find them, but couldn't. Um, this is an old um, New, New Mexico. New Mexico caving postcard. I'm not sure why that's in there. Why is it in there? Um, and then we're here at the bottom and in the bottom I have put this beautiful blue button that I absolutely love it's a mother of pearl this little pearl here and here and this blue pearl bead this red button picking up that red and blue but staying true to these creams and um, vintage um, pieces as well and then um, an old vintage uh, mother of pearl button. There's the back of it. Alright, so this is box number seven. Um, and I'm going to put it back and I will be back. Alright, I got it packed up, guys. So there it is. Um, it you know it's it's just really really lovely these laces in here are just beyond lovely and I I sure hope these go to someone who will appreciate how old and vintage these laces are um, and can just, just love all over them <laughs> um this is probably not gonna close I don't want to bend the card so I'll put the card in the top lid oh my gosh this is why I had to had to tie it down with this because it kept wanting to pop open all right so there's that one and it's a beautiful box of inspiration and ready to have a story told around it okay that's number seven let's see I'm gonna go ahead and do this one so this is box number seven guys Alright, this one's next. Um, 
very pretty tan. It measures, uh, let's see, hang on. Okay, let's see. This one measures five and a quarter by four and a quarter by three and three, four. Yeah, this is a really nice tan, guys. I love this, um, this scene here on the top of it. Um, and keep in mind that the price includes the tin, so it's it includes the shipping, it includes the tin, and it includes everything inside of it. Um, and there's a lot of vintage in here, so this is really pretty. It almost has an Asian feel to it, if not. Very pretty, and this one is signed on the. All right, this one's next. Um, very pretty tin. It measures. Uh, let's see. Hang on. Okay, let's see. This one measures five and a quarter by four and a quarter by three and three four. Yeah, this is a really nice tin, guys. I love this um this scene here on the top of it. Um, and keep in mind that the price includes the tin. So it's it includes the shipping, it includes the tin, and it includes everything inside of it. Um, and there's a lot of vintage in here. So this is really pretty. It almost has an Asian feel to it, if not. Very pretty, and this one is signed. Here we go. Okay. So let's open this one up, and this one is also, um, this is number eight, um, and this one is also, um, the lid is hinged, okay? So when you open this up, and there's the queen, I'm not sure why this seamstress would have that in there, but it's in there little hearts at the last minute. Some of those pearl buttons. And those are in beautiful condition and shape. And the original card. A piece of the rose fabric. A piece of this um, Asian feel fabric and that is just put on because you know to sort of play around with the idea of this dark blue and kind of rosy, rosy red that's kind of pushing it a little bit for this box <laughs> but it's use your imagination right why would she have that kind of fabric in her vintage box there's a remnant there. A piece of this. And look at that. I love this. And this definitely is fitting for the color scheme. A piece of this vintage lace. This came out of a sewing box. Um, this is what inspired again. Um, and when you open it, it still has the original band-aid still in its flap. And then over here, it's got some pins. And these, this might be a good uh, junk journaling idea. It might go into somebody's idea book um, to make something like that. I think that's pretty cool. The band-aid is still there. <laughs> Apparently it had like, I don't know, like three, but I don't want to fuddle and fiddle around with it because I'll screw it up, maybe. I'm pretty sure I won't, but I just, I'm, I don't want to. I don't want to fiddle around with it. Anyway, it's got a needle here and two safety pins here, two buttons, black and white thread. The very, very basics. Black and white thread and one band-aid. And this is Paradoris. That's fun. I think that would be a really cool um, junk journaling idea. 
for an idea book. And then you have, um, hang on guys, let me see what my dog's barking at because he usually doesn't bark that hard. Okay, sorry about that guys, that's because the people that live across the street, they have pit bulls and so, yeah. Okay, then there's this beautiful piece. Now this, I thought you could use your imagination and sort of play around with um, the idea. Hang on. Okay. Hopefully I can get through this. <laughs> um, anyway, so I was thinking that use your imagination and look at the color scheme there. Um, see how that gold glimmers and you could play around with this a little bit. Um, even though this is way more colorful than the vintage side of things. Look how full this box is. I just love it. I will do more of these and then there might be other themes. It just depends. I'd love to do some um, with children's, kind of do like a children's or, or if some of you uh, decide to do something like this, let me know. I'd love to see what you come up with um, because they're a lot of fun. What about a math? You could do one that's just focused on math and science. That would be cool. Anyway, so then you've got this pretty little lace. I've only put this yellow lace, vintage lace, in one of the other boxes. And this one is vintage with color, right? There's a little piece of remnant there. And here is a piece of that beautiful eyelet with strings on it. <laughs> And this pink piece here, that's, that's vintage too. That's probably old um, lace trim or lace seam binding. This does not have a cap on it. What? <laughs> oh my gosh, I had so many of those things in all the boxes that I've collected over the years. I had a ton of them, but um, yeah, most of them didn't have the caps. There's a piece of that. That would be pretty um, slow stitched on or slow stitched around, I think. That's really pretty. And then we've got more of the soldier ribbon. And there is that buckle piece again. And this one has a red uh, full uh, measuring tape. And I think this one might have said made in England as well, guys. Some of these said made in England. Some said singer, so, singer. And they're just really vintage. They're all old. And I found all of these in sewing boxes. This one is the green from the sewing goodies I found from another... Um, well, not even another, well, another box, but from someone else who was preserving her threads. The modern music piece. Um, there's the goal on a faux spool with some washi tape at the top to give it a little bit of interest. And then this is a piece of um, paper that was in the cloth whirl um, box again, um, some of the things as a state, and um, it just has, she got 50% off and a remnant, um, something W warm, 50 of cotton, 50 of poly. This is from their estate because they had, guys, that, those, that couple, <laughs> And my great auntie, I've never seen so many people with polyester. Oh my God, <laughs> polyester everywhere. But their home was so lived in, like my family's homes were very lived in. Like I grew up and I'm, I'm not um, a spring chicken, but my family had their homes and literally paid off like when I was a little kid. And um, those, those homes were lived in. Yeah, from the time I grew up. And I'm an old fart. Look at this. Isn't that pretty? Needle threader. 
and we've got some red thread that's trying to unwind. It's ready to be on a sewing machine or in a needle. Um, this is a wooden spool. Love, 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 love this. Love that black um, seal or uh, brand. And there is the crochet piece. Not crochet, uh, embroidery. I keep saying that embroidery piece. My video just split. And this is some more packaging here. Just for fun, for interest, um, for the sake of preserving and making your journal, junk journal books or your story come to life. Here's one of those old National Life um, insurance cards um, when they were trying to advertise to people. I think this is when they did door-to-door -door kind of stuff. And that's got two needles left in it. Those are fun. And then here is, with the needle still in it, I am going to take this one out um, of this blue. It's kind of that stormy looking blue. I like to call that kind of blue stormy looking, but it's really a light grayish blue. Very pretty. Oh, let me stick this in a pink and I just took that one out because it's just kind of sticking up random in there and it's hard to stick it in that thing. Okay, um, this is an unused blue floss. And then there's the sewing piece, foot. And these weren't in that box with the orange colors. These were in um, a sewing, another different sewing box that was a real sewing box like it, it had all of the ladies stuff in it the seamstresses stuff in it or a guy <laughs> um, here's some white cream actually that's the, kind of like a cream color and a thimble here is a piece of um, the hanky earlier I said it was a trellis but it looked like it was a sort of a trellis of a little walk-in um, this has got, I guess those are gladiolus, I don't know. Very light, beautiful piece. Here are some Lansing buttons that I think are just gorgeous. They're so pretty. And they're green, mint green. On the original car, they're all there. Love that. Here is some pretty white cotton, and I showed this in one of the other uh, packs, and I just stuck a little pin down um, inside of it on this faux spool. That's old cotton. Old stuff. There's some of the garter stuff. <laughs> if we can call it that. Here are some tags. Well, this is a tag. Just This is a very, very modern tag, but I like that it says time and true, and it's the shape of a tag. And then this is an old pack of buttons that have only two left. wonder where the other ones are today. Where are they? What were they put on? Made in England. And then you've got this old piece here. I think this came, this came from that uh, Dritz, I think is what the brand is, packaging. And I just love that. Just a piece of packaging that's old, that comes from old um, brands. And I think it's so worthy of saving. It could be a cute little tag. And then here's just a playing card that was found randomly down in this box. I don't know why it's there, but it's there. Here is some beads and doodahs. There's a little gold pin with a pearl. There's a bobbin with orange, burnt orange kind of colors on there. There's this pin. It has blue and yellow. Again, going back to color a little bit. Here is the other piece of the hanky. Getting down, getting sort of. <laughs> Not really. Here's a rusted um, safety pin, appropriately placed. Little sewing time capsules. That's what I like to think of these as, little sewing time.
time capsules. There's this one. And that's, this is part of that um, other lace. I think this was a, doll, a, a, a doily or a collar. I'm not sure. Hang on, guys. My mom's calling me. Hold on. Okay. So, there's this piece. And this is really pretty and, and antique. This is antique. This is antique. So is this. That. This here. Very beautiful pieces. Love this one. Oh my god. This one is so beautiful. I love this one. It's so pretty. Oh, I love uh, so pretty. These would be just gorgeous, slow stitched on something um, and sort of kept. Just beautiful. Antique. There's that webbing antique piece. And there's um, the not Hobby Lobby or this is not modern this is old stuff but it looks like it because you can find that kind of stuff in Hobby Lobby which I think is cool I'm just saying that's not that came out of some old stuff beautiful beautiful lace pieces when I scored these pieces here um, I got them from somebody who from an, an obviously an, an elderly woman at the warehouse who had obviously took every piece of lace old lace that she could and preserved it all there's some pattern paper and the little buttons and preserved it all it's just so cool and then here's O2 this is McDaniel this is a piece of, of cotton and a piece of muslin and a piece of this mm, beautiful hanky and then there's her little piece on top with the pen secured by a pen and oh my god guys let me see okay let me try to go a little faster a remnant a remnant applique tatting there's some tatting there it's so pretty and this old vintage lace here with the pin and it's secured on a little uh, spool. And then these little pieces here are just adorable. Look at this. I just love this. Old vintage. Everything here is old and vintage except for the bow pin. So you've got this beautiful used and loved uh, mother of pearl. This button here. This one this one, this one, and this one by Mrs. Mc, from Mrs. McDaniel's um, estate, and it's just secured with one of our modern bowl pins. There's a little fat sack um, that I put in there that my aunt's chandelier piece wants to hang on. So you can open that up and find some buttons in there that I've sewn together, just a piece of a little muslin sack piece. And then there's the chandelier piece. I don't want to put that too close to that old lace because it likes to hook on stuff. And then these are just two needles stuck down into a piece of, of um, old, not old, this is not old. This is from something I bought on Etsy a few years back. Um, and they, they sent it in a, like a little pouch and this was the fabric so I just turned it inside out and stuck two needles in there extra buttons I don't know what those buttons look like in there but this little tiny envelope is just the most adorable thing it's just so cute and there's two buttons in there and it says extra buttons you just gotta love that stuff love it <laughs> um, here is an orange uh, needle pack that is um, got several needles in there and I'm not gonna open these up because there's another pack in there um, because these are sewing machine needles and those are really sharp guys just a reminder to be careful when you're going rifling through this here is some tracing paper from that's just a piece I tore cut off um, from the dressmakers tracing paper 
from this old carbon tracing paper. It has color, lots of color. It's just old carbon paper. And I was going to put some of these in there, more carbon paper. I'll throw that one, put that one in there. Um, these pieces here, but I just thought, mm, I was like, yeah, it's kind of a bit too much. But that, that's the packaging for this. And you can see where they've um, put in the roller thing. Okay, um, let's see. There are more eye hook and eyes. And that looks well used and loved. I love that. And then here is some of that old vintage cotton um, thread with the tag down in the hole there. And then right around here it says crochet cotton something something. I don't know. But it's red. Love that. And then these two spools are old and vintage and wooden. Very pretty. Almost done, guys. I'm trying to keep this under an hour. Well, I'm not almost done, but yeah. Um, almost. <laughs> I'm going to save the blue one for last. I'll do that maybe later. Um, there's a label there. This, again, looks just like an antique box. Two buttons, original pearl buttons. One of Sophia's uh, tulip stickers. Another one of those uh, garter belt. Uh, I found the word for it this time. That might be what those hooks are for. Those These things, I'm not sure. But I can't imagine this being a hook with this shamrock on there. I don't know. But anyway, there's that. I just love that. And I found these in sewing boxes. <laughs> so they're going right back in. Um, there's a piece of Singer tracing paper with an old brad right there. It goes over here with this. Two tags. Some yellow um, floss. Another piece of vintage lace. Um, some very pretty pearl um, lace. And this, I don't, I don't remember where I got this from, but I've had it for a long time. It's almost like cheese, cheese. It's almost like Chinese braid. <laughs> That's what it's like. Sorry, guys. My mom, she, she's um, fussing at me because she's waiting for me. So I need to kind of get a move on it. Um, and then this is so pretty. Look at this. This is just kind of pinned down into this fabric. And I wish I could remember whether or not this came from my great aunt's estate. I almost want to say yes it did, but I'm not 100% sure. I still have some patchy, I think I showed you guys a piece of the patchy stuff with the pins in it, but I finally took them out. And it was kind of, it felt good because it just, you know, just thinking about her and how beautiful she was and what a wonderful woman she was, um, I just enjoyed doing that. So I finally took the pins out that, where she had pinned the sewing stuff in herself to, to be sewed, to be sewn. So there's some pearly looking buttons. And there is a piece of tattered tatted insertion paper and again um, if you really want some vintage fun go order some old uh, work basket magazines those are always the best and there's a piece of lace vintage lace on a doll spool there is another remnant that says singer a trademark because the sewing box is not meant to be neat um, it's meant to preserve and to play with and to come up with stories to build around, um, build stories to build around it. And then I went ahead and put another card, one of these in there, because you've got these gentlemen over here with Miss Ann over there, <laughs> Queen Elizabeth. Um, so I thought this would be a lot of fun, and it goes really nice with the pearls here. So, and then there is one of the dress pieces. With, backed on book page 
Um, here's some Rick Rack um, labeling there. The first person I ever saw use this um, was Nick the Booksmith in um, some digis that she had. And boy, did that spark some ideas for me. Thank you, Nick. And we've got this piece here, um, which is an old needle holder, but there aren't any needles in it. But why in the world would we want to give up that beautiful um, image there and brand there, that packaging there on top? So that's really nice. I love that. Um, even though there's several of those, this says clothing. There's the French word for it. There's another applique E. I am going to keep this under an hour, guys. And there is um, some more snaps with one missing. Why is it there only one missing? <laughs> what was being made? Did it ever get finished? And this is really cute. This is a cool little um, sewing book of beading needles. Um, and regular needles, too, I think, went in there. So you can definitely play with that. Um, and spark, you know, it should spark some ideas for you. And then here's another piece of lace. That's vintage. And then here's a piece of that old vintage quilt that someone took so much time making, um, but it was so old and fragile that moths had sort of eaten um, the back part of it. It had so many holes in it, and when I got it, um, I didn't, I didn't have to pay very much for it because it, nobody wanted it. But I think it's just so beautiful. I think it's just absolutely beautiful. I'm getting there. <laughs> um, another piece of remnant. Um, some Singer needles in this cute little plastic uh, red and uh, white er, red and white box, and it says "Made in Great Britain." And then there's a piece of this eyelet, this yo-yo, this. Um, pink and green wooden spool that was in a sewing box just like that all rustic looking and used and touched <laughs> loved oh and then here is some blue used um, floss here are one two more um, bobbins with blue teal blue and orange this one is a darker orange. I'm watching the time, guys. And then here are some labels, DMC labels. I always say those. Those are fun. Here's another sewing machine foot piece that moves. <laughs> I don't know where it came from or why. Um, there are some more safety pins. Sorry, I'm kind of going out of frame here. There is a thimble, another one. We've got two of those in there. And this is an old bo uh, bobbin. I love these. These are really old and nice. And it's still got some of that old antique thread on it. That's a lot larger than the other ones. An applique. Mrs. McDaniel's pieces. Let me use my other hand here, guys, so I can move it along. really cute and then some of that mid-century tablecloth edge some of that beautiful 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 lace um, that I don't think I have any more of this I'm not sure I may have a tiny little slither of it left and this piece here more Mac Mrs. McDaniels and then there are the two glass buttons whoops well, they were tied on a string. <laughs> They're going to be loosey-goosey now. Make it a real original sewing box. Appliques. 
beads left over from my snippet roll um, packs a yellow button and I think guys I'm gonna take this yellow button out and stick it in my yellow pack okay sorry about that I can, I'll replace it this with another button um, there's some pearl buttons here with the little bar thingy behind them and another applique and this gorgeous and this is why I put this one in here gorgeous um, old vintage lacing with a little cottage um, and this lady and her dog, and there's the husband bringing her flowers. Um, I don't know, he looks like he's in a rocking chair or something, I don't know, but he's got flowers in his hands and the trees and the little colonial style um, southern hat looking house. That's probably a plantation. <laughs> oh my god, I said I was gonna be good. Okay, anyway, there's some green buttons. <laughs> I ain't lying shit. Okay, there's a needle there. That's a yarn needle. And here is some crocheted um, hand crocheted lace. And finally, oh my gosh, look, we're at the bottom. Finally, there's a Sophia butterfly. There is another. Um, sewing needle where can I put this I guess I can put it I'm just gonna stick it right in here guys I don't want to ruin this though should I not should I not I'm wasting time time is ticking that's not for sewing needles but I'm just gonna stick that right in there okay no damage done so there's a needle in there now there's a red button that's really pretty and vintage and this red button and look at these cute little pins and that's just a whatever dot look at that and that's it so this is um box number eight and let's see um yeah Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. box number eight so I'm gonna take a picture of that and I will get this all back into this box <laughs> ah! and then I'll put you back on and say goodbye <laughs> all right guys there it is Whew. okay I'll talk to you guys later Adios, sale pues, morale pues. oh let me just say reiterate I'm sorry before I go oh my goodness I don't know how I got all this stuff in there I sort of got it back in there, but kind of not. I think I'm going to have to put the queen over here and her buddies. Um, this is box number eight. And then I'm going to take a little tiny break. And then this is going to be the final box. Um, I'll just show you a sneak peek of what's inside of that one. Um, and we can go from there. Okay. All right, guys. I'll be back with the final box number nine. All right. Thanks. Bye. Adios. Sale pues. Orale pues.